the set of slides is about elasticity and in this presentation you are looking at cross elasticity of demand and how it is calculated. So the quantity demanded of a particular good also depends on the prices of related goods. For example, if the price of coffee increases, the quantity demanded of tea may increase. That is because tea is now relatively cheaper than coffee because the price of coffee increased and tea is regarded as a substitute for coffee. You can drink tea instead of the more expensive coffee. Let's look at another example. If the price of cars increases, the quantity of tires which are used with the cars may decrease. That is because cars are now more expensive as people buy fewer cars and therefore they also need fewer tires because tires and cars are complementary products. So we are looking at substitute products and complementary products. Cross elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a particular product to changes in the price of a related good. Not the same good, a related good. Thus, the formula me measures the ratio between the percentage change in the quantity demanded of a product and the percentage change in the price of a related product. So there we show the formula for cross elasticity of demand, percentage change in the quantity demanded of one product, for example product A, divided by the percentage change in the price of another product, for example product B. So we shorten it to percentage change in quantity of A divided by percentage change in price of B. So this sign means percentage, the triangle means change, quantity of A refers to quantity of A, while PB refers to price of B. So let's consider hot dogs and hamburgers. The price of hot dogs increases by 10% and due to this the quantity of hamburgers demanded increases by 6%. So price of hot dogs increases by 10%, the quantity of hamburgers increases by 6%. So when the price of hot dogs increases, the quantity of hot dogs will decrease movement along the demand curve for hot dogs. Hamburgers are a substitute for hot dogs, therefore the quantity demand of hamburgers will now increase. More hamburgers will be bought because hot dogs are now relatively more expensive. So this is the formula for calculating the cross elasticity, percentage change in the quantity of hamburgers divided by percentage change in the price of hot dogs. So the percentage change in the quantity of hamburgers is 6% percentage change in the price of hot dogs, 10%, that gives us 0, 0,6. The cross elasticity of substitute goods is always larger than 0. Now we look at another example, golf balls and golf clubs. The price of golf clubs increases by 10% and due to this the quantity of golf balls demanded, which are used with golf clubs, decreases by 12%. So price of golf clubs increases by 10%, quantity 
quantity demanded of golf balls decreases, that's why that's a minus, by 12%. So when the price of golf clubs increases, the quantity demanded of golf clubs decreases. The movement along the demand curve for golf clubs. Golf balls are used with golf clubs, they are a complement for golf clubs. So the quantity demanded of golf balls will therefore also decrease. So cross elasticity of demand is the percentage change in the quantity of golf balls minus 12 divided by the percentage change in the price of golf clubs 10%. That gives us minus 1,2. So the cross elasticity of complementary goods is always less than zero. It's always negative because these two will change in opposite directions. Now let's consider washing powder and cigarettes. The price of washing powder increases by 20%. It has no effect on the quantity demanded of cigarettes. So if we calculate the cross elasticity of demand, it's going to be zero because there is zero percent change in the quantity demanded of cigarettes. So the cross elasticity of unrelated goods is equal to zero. So let's summarize cross elasticity of demand. If two goods are unrelated, for example, unburnt cigarettes, an increase in the price of the washing powder will have no impact on the quantity demanded of cigarettes, so the cross elasticity of demand is equal to zero. When goods are substitutes, for example, hot dogs and ha hamburgers, an increase in the price of hot dogs will lead to an increase in the dem quantity demanded of burgers. Therefore, the cross elasticity of demand will be positive. If goods are complements, for example, golf clubs and golf balls, an increase in the price of golf clubs will lead to a decrease in the demand for golf balls. Therefore, the cross elasticity of demand will be negative.